Hi everyone, it's Krista. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I'm hopping on with empties today. I have a little bit in front of me here, so let's just dive right in. I'm not gonna, you know, ramble on too much here in the beginning. Um, I have my coffee here. I hope you guys are chilling, having a snack, having coffee with me. It is Sunday morning. I just, you know, I got ready for the day because I'm actually going, <laughs> I'm going with my friend to see the Barbie movie. And if you guys have seen the movie, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Um, she messaged me and wanted to know if I wanted to go see it. And I don't mind going to see it, honestly. Like, I don't know if it's like a movie that's on the top of my list to go see, but I still feel like I just have to see it just to see it. Um, so me and her are going to see a movie here shortly so i figured while i had some time i'm just gonna hop on and film my empties so let's just dive right in here so starting with retail wax i have this one from sensationals this is mango cheesecake i was a little iffy about this one i warmed this one on i'm doing the wax melting challenge hosted by patricia gates um and one of the days i think it was like melt something you have like bad luck with or you've had bad luck with in the past cheesecake scents for me excuse me cheesecake scents for me in the past I have had bad luck some scents I'm okay with other scents just come off to me like sour milk it's just been like an iffy I don't know an iffy experience like one day I'm fine with cheesecake the next day I'm not so I'm just very like back and forth so when I saw this in the store I just sniffed it just to try you know, sniff it. I'm cold. I don't get a sour milk note. So I was like, you know what? Let me just buy it then. Let's try it. Maybe it's one that I can actually tolerate. And I'm happy to report I could tolerate this one. There was no sour milk note, nothing like that at all. Um, so it wasn't a bad scent, although so scent appeal was good. I enjoyed it. Scent performance not the greatest um for me it was more so just kind of like a light light to medium maybe um but then it also i felt like it didn't last too long so yeah i felt like i really had to get my nose deep like into the warmers or like really close to the warmers to actually get much out of this one i could just smell it like lightly in the air barely but like mostly just like when i walked by my warmers, I don't know, I kind of had to search for this scent a little bit. So because of that, I probably wouldn't buy this one again. But at least I tried it. Um, I got through two of these Mainstays clams. These are the Strawberry Waffle Cone. And I believe these two I was sent from Carrie here on YouTube. Um, so I'm excited I was able to finally try this one. This one is Strawberry Vanilla and Waffle Cone. I remember seeing this in stores, but I never picked it up. And it's actually really good. It kind of reminds me, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream for some reason. Like I get the strawberry, I get like a vanilla, but then I feel like that waffle cone to me, I don't know why, I just feel like I smell Neapolitan ice cream. And I actually really enjoyed it. I don't know why that comes off like that to me, but I enjoyed it. So I got through two of these, really nice. This one. <laughs> this one, okay. So, yes, this one is Mainstay's Iced Caramel Macchiato. Notes of coffee, caramel, and sweet vanilla. Not a fan of this one. Shocking. I first picked this up at Walmart. I smelled it, thought it smelled really good. And I feel like for Walmart or like retail, I was excited to see coffee. Because I feel like you don't see a lot of coffee in retail. Like, you really don't. Um, you might see a couple here and there, but for the most part, you don't really see a ton. So seeing it, I was like, I'm just going to grab two. I like the smell of it. Let's go for it. <sighs> now when I smell it, I can't unsmell this particular smell. So something about this is off to me now. And it's funny. I felt like in the beginning, I didn't really get that. But now that I've warmed it, it's all I smell. So me and my husband, I'm going to explain me and my husband were in um, my office or like our office where I work for like days when I work at home. I love to warm coffee on those days. So like a couple times a week, I'll warm coffee in there while I'm working. I had this one going and we were just having or having, we were having a conversation, just chit chat and, and like mid conversation. I was like, what do you think about this wax? I'm sorry to like 
trail off onto a different thought. But I was like, babe, what do you think of this wax? Like, I don't know. Something's weird about it. And he said that it smells savory to him. And as soon as he said that, I was like, okay, I think I know. Like, I feel the same. Like, I was like, that's something's weird. And he said it smells like ramen. As soon as he said that, I was like, oh my god you're right like that is what i smell like it just smells it smells like beef ramen <laughs> i don't know why but now all i smell is like beef ramen i don't know it's just not a love wouldn't get this one again that was weird to me so i'm sad honestly because i've heard other people talk about it and they really like it so something about our noses me and my husband we just something about it it's off um so i wouldn't repurchase that one unfortunately um the next few items we have our scentsy um one here i have is cherry vanilla um i did throw this in my club initially just because i i hadn't warmed it yet and i was like you know i'll put it in there for right now because it's still well it, it's not available now but um I put it in there when it was available and then I thought, you know, if it goes away, at least I have it in my club if I decide I like it. Um, I took it out. I don't mind this cherry, but it's not like a love. Um, I prefer, what's that scent? Red, white, and berry pie. So far, that's one of my all-time favorite cherry scents from Scentsy um, or cherry almond pie. Like those two cherry blends for me are like really you know, loves of mine. Um, and I've warmed them before. I've really enjoyed them. So not that this was bad. It wasn't bad at all. It's like a nice, just like almost like a candied cherry to me. Um, but it smells good. I thought on performance, it was like a medium plus kind of, um, I just mainly did this in, um, our office one day and then the remaining melts or remaining cubes I put in actually my open concept. So it was nice while it was going. I could smell it. It's just not one that like wowed me. So I wouldn't repurchase that one. Um, this one I did on the day for the challenge. We had to warm something that had amber in it and I pulled in Mountain Sunset. It has like wild bluebell, amber, and like musk or something. There's something else in here and I can't remember what but this is really pretty I really like this one it's not like a club worthy bar for me because you know like if it goes away forever I think I think I would be okay but I still really enjoy it so like I would get it again I'm assuming since this was new this season like this spring and summer this would hopefully be back next spring and summer so I'm happy to just try it again next spring and summer. I just thought it was a really good bar for like our bedroom. I did three cubes per warmer in our bedroom. I have two warmers in that room. Um, and then the remaining cubes I just put in our bathrooms, but it was a really nice bar. Like this one lasted a pretty long while. Um, I put this one in like in the evening hours one day and then I literally let it go like 24 hours. I left my warmers on, it was still going. So yeah, it lasted like 24 hours. It could have probably lasted longer, but I just kind of was like, you know, I think I'm ready. <laughs> I think I'm ready for something new, but you know, good longevity on it. And I just thought it was nice. I could still smell it. Like the whole time it warmed, I was still smelling this in the air and I thought it was really, really pretty. So Mountain Sunset, I am a fan. I do like that one. And I would repurchase that down the road again if it comes back. Um, Scentsy's Rainbow Sherbert. This one is just, I feel like a summer staple. I feel like a lot of people love this one it is just so fun and fruity like it is it just screams summer to me yeah it's so good it's like strawberry key lime um an orange or lemon or something if i remember i can put the notes in the video here or in the description because i'm sure people might want to know what the notes are and of course right now i don't have anything in front of me i don't I keep forgetting to make labels. I have a label thing that I can use to like print labels and I keep forgetting to add labels to these. Um, but yes, still a really good scent, really, really good performer. I have good luck with this one. So yeah, Rainbow Sherbet is just a classic. I love that one. Um, I have two Sunshot Cups. One is Fantasy Wax Melts. This is Brian's Fave, which is peach pie filling. 
I did this on a day when we had to warm like something peach or apricot, I believe was the prompt. And this one actually was pretty good. Like this is definitely like a very, it, it literally smells like peach pie filling. Like it just reminds me of like really sweet sugared peaches. Like peaches you're prepping for pie filling and you add like sugar to it and it just kind of uh, molds together and it's just like really sweet and like juicy. Like this was just really, really good. Very like authentic peach pie filling to me. Really liked this one. Um, so yeah, this was from Fantasy Wax Melts. This one I've had for a bit. So I just wanted to finally warm it and enjoy it. Did enjoy that one. So I got, whoops, I got through that. Um, and then this one is Yummer's Delight Happy Little Camper. I did this one on the day when you warm something like associated with camping. I thought the name, it was just very appropriate. Um, this is Fresh Pine, Balsam, and Berries. I was going to save this for like fall and winter. But I had the urge to warm something like this. It just smelled so good and just, oh, it sounded so good to me. And I have no regrets. It was beautiful. I love pine. I love balsam, woodsy scents. Really do enjoy that. And this, I felt like the berry note, actually, it came out a lot more. I feel like when I first hauled this scent, I could get more of the balsam and, like, the pine but as it sat and like once I finally warmed it, I felt like the berries, like that note came out a lot more. And it's really, really pretty. It screams like Christmas. It's just so like, like cozy and fresh and just, oh, it gives me holiday feels. And if I see this one come back at some point and I'm placing an order with Yummer's Delight, I would get more because I thought it was really, really pretty. Okay, so moving on, we have just the remaining bags that I got through. Um, one day, I think the prompt was to warm a cookie, like a sugar cookie scent. So I actually just put samples in both of my warmers in our office. Um, we have that Smell Good Shop Black Mirror sugar cookies and white chocolate. This one was really good. Honestly, it was kind of like these two together was, it was a really good combo. It's like hard to pick up though which one was which. Like it was just like a really sweet sugar cookie, just like scent in the office. It was really, really good. I can't really smell this one too much, but this one, I would most likely order like a six pack of this one though. Like if it came back and I saw it and I was placing an order. Yeah, I would order that one. I thought it was really, really nice. And I love anything like bakery, sugar cookie, really good. And then Trevor City Wax Co. I paired with that sample and this is Ultimate Sugar Cookie. So I thought these were pretty much perfect for that day. This one I can actually still smell. It's just like extra sweet cookie dough. Like it reminds me of like raw cookie dough. Like you're prepping the dough and you're like pressing in um, the cookie cutters and you're just kind of like, I don't know, you're getting that scent and like, I don't know, it just smells so good. It's just like really delicious, extra sweet sugar cookie dough. Excuse me. Really, really good. Really enjoyed that one. <sighs> Sorry needed to take a little sip. Um, I have a couple from L3. All right, this one is Coven. And this was a cloud cake or cloud bar. I forgot what they call those. Um, this is citrus, fruity, freshness, and delightful daisies amidst a flower laden meadow. Um, this was a melt I pulled in for, it was like Melt a fresh floral or fruity blend, and this has all of that in one. This was really pretty. Very much more so fresh and floral. There is some, it says citrus fruity freshness. Like I got the fruity, like citrus kind of notes a little bit, but more so to me, it was like that daisy note with like some like green fresh notes with it. Really pretty. I would get this one again. And I would probably get it like in the same size or something small. I probably wouldn't get it like in a loaf or anything, but really, really pretty. If you're wanting to like clean your home or apartment or wherever, this is a good one to use while you're doing that because it was just extra fresh and very pretty. If you like florals, I recommend that one as well. Um, this one obviously was for 4th of July. I had this one, I think from like last year or the year prior, like maybe last year. I think it was last year. Um, I just never got a chance to warm it last year for 4th of July, but this one is Firecracker Pop Bath and Body Works type. 
And this was just a puppy pack. Really, really pretty. Just, I love the scent. I mainly just love it though, that time of year. For 4th of July, it just kind of screams. Yeah, just screams summer. And just, you know, like that cherry, like bomb pop kind of smell. Yeah, I can't smell it too much, but literally to my nose, this was like a pretty spot on dupe to that candle. So really enjoyed this and I paired it with my candle, my firecracker pop candle. So that worked out really well, got through that puppy pack. Um, and then I got through a cute little like bunny little shape. This was also gifted to me from Carrie. This is Snooze Button, which is Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Bee Noel, and Buttermints. I believe I've had this blend before. Or I've had a couple lavender blends from L3, and I really like her lavender. And this one is another fabulous one, and I just loved the buttermints in here. I feel like I've been lacking in getting melts with buttermint. I love buttermint. I love buttermint. I love peppermint. Those are like my two favorite mints. And yeah, just having this one again and just warming it again, I did realize how much I really like this one. So I would order a bigger size, like maybe like a... I don't know if I'd get like a basic Betty loaf, but like a Bitty Betty maybe. Like another size of this one, I would get more. I do enjoy this one. It's just, I feel like it's just a beautiful kind of like staple bedroom melt. And I just love, like I said, the buttermint is beautiful. It's so creamy, so minty. It's just really, really delicious. Um, This one I was super like impressed with, shocking, like I don't know, it's just a new vendor to me, so I didn't know what to expect. And this one was a boomer, boomer. Um, also gifted to me from Carrie, this is Yum Yum Wax in Grape Cotton Candy. I did this in my open concept. I did this in, um, I started it off in my tea light warmer. So strong. I was sitting here on the couch and it was back like in our kitchen on like our stove. And I just happened to be like sitting, sitting here on the couch, just like on my phone. And I got like hit with that smell it was beautiful really good more so cotton candy extra sweet with like a touch of grape i liked it i thought it was really pretty um and then the other shape i put again in another warmer in our kitchen but a bulb warmer still really good and i felt like this scent lasted a bit like probably most of the day so i had good luck with this vendor um i don't know yeah, I don't think I've ever purchased from this vendor, but I would maybe, like if they were offering a restock or something, if I was able to catch something, I would consider maybe ordering a little bit just to try more. But yeah, really surprised by that one. Really good. Really, really good. Um, this one was definitely a love. I really would like to get more of this one from Birdies Making Sense. This is Old Tart, and it's Lemon Pound Cake and Pretzel. <sighs> so good, you guys. I've had many pretzel blends, but like I've had mostly like pretzel and strawberry, pretzel and blueberry, pretzel with like zucchini bread and other like bakeries, but never with lemon. And can I just tell you, this is like a new love. Like I want, I want to go out and make like some customs with lemon and pretzel or I don't even know. Like it was just so delicious. So I already have this like written down on my list for when Bridget, the owner of Birdie's Making Sense, when she comes back, probably in like, <clears throat> excuse me, like September maybe. If she's able to pour this again, I would love to get more of it because it is so delicious. You get like, I, I almost feel like it was like 50-50, like it was blended beautifully. Like you got that pretzel, that saltiness, but then I feel like the lemon pound cake just gave it like a sweetness but like that extra bakery and like that lemon. Like it's just such an authentic lemon pound cake. And it just goes so well with pretzel. Never did I think to blend lemon, bakery, and pretzel. It is fabulous. I recommend trying lemon bakery and pretzel. If you can ever try it, please try it. Please try it. <laughs> I swear, if you guys like pretzel and you like lemon bakery together, it's magic it's beautiful delicious loved 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 that um i have another one gifted to me from carrie this is body's harmony lux linen this is garden lilac lux linen and gain i didn't mind this one it was definitely very very strong it's like it's like straight up laundry with the lux linen and the gain and then you add that extra fresh lilac very very strong <laughs> so I didn't mind that though my husband he wasn't really a fan of it 
Like I had just a little bit going in um, one of our mini warmers in the bathroom and he was sitting out here on the couch and it just wafted out here and he was like, what is that? Like he just, I think was a little turned off by it. So I turned the warmer off, but yeah, we got through it. I just, I probably wouldn't repurchase just because he's not really super keen on like the really extra fresh floral types of scents. He'll He'll let me warm them because he knows I enjoy them, but like I try to like, you know, mix it up and stuff. And if he doesn't like something, I try not to like, you know, I try not to make him sick or like, you know, turn him off. I just figured if he doesn't like it, that's okay. Like we'll pass. It's not one that we have to have, but that's all right. Um, and then the last two items are from Sassy Girl Aroma. And I got through a little snap bar. This was gifted to me from Brittany. And I love this. This is one that I would love to get more of because it was absolutely delicious. This is Adam's Beach Party. It's strawberry pound cake, toasted marshmallow, s'mores, and sea salt. And I feel like she has a really good beach nights. Sorry, my cat is making some noise. Um, yeah, really good beach nights. It's delicious. Really good, especially with the strawberry pound cake. I loved this. I would love to get more eventually. Um, and then this one was a brittle that I got through. This is Kelly Sunset. It's pineapple, peach, citrus, raspberries, and sugar cane. I didn't mind this one, but it wasn't anything that wowed me. The citrus note in here was a little iffy. Like something was off in this blend to me, and I believe it was the citrus because I've had peach. I've had other blends from her that have peach, and I've loved it. I feel like, like raspberries and pineapple, like I get those notes, but... Yeah, like the citrus or something on warm was just kind of off-putting to me. It wasn't like, I don't know, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be on warm. So for that reason, I probably wouldn't get it again, but I at least got through it and I warmed it uh, for the challenge. I think it was, I think I had to melt like a ruby colored wax, I think was the prompt. And this was like a red ruby kind of colored brittle with other like white and like orange and like it was very fun and colorful. Um, but yeah, so I got through that brittle. All right. So that is everything from my bin as far as like wax items, but let me jump in here really quick to the non-wax. Got through a pack of jumbo cotton balls. These are like the next best thing. I normally go for the mega cotton balls, but my Walmart did not have them in stock. So I just opted for the jumbo. Still something I would repurchase. They work pretty well. Um, me and my husband got through some shower gels and stuff um, that we've had in the shower. So we got two of these that he finished up. So we have Clear Horizon, which is uh, fresh lavender, zesty citrus, and Pacific cedarwood. And then we have a island, which is notes of sparkling yuzu, green jasmine, and solar driftwood. And then I got through a Golden Mango Lagoon. I really enjoyed this one. I love mango. I just, especially at this time of year, I love mango, like scented things. This is Sunny Mango, Saltwater Woods, and Coral Blooms. Yeah, just fun and fruity. And just like very summer. Really liked this one. So we finished up those products. And then the other items I have are candles. So... And I'm shaking the camera. So I have a Bath and Body Works Blueberry Pie. Staple. Love this one. I would love it if they would bring this back. I feel like this one's such a popular one. I feel like I hear a lot of people talk about it, but I'm shocked it hasn't come back. So whenever it comes back, hopefully it does at some point, I will definitely get more. This is such a good performer. Really like strong, more so like pie crust scent and then you get that blueberry like that crust note is there and I love that about this candle um this one is notes of juicy blueberry uh flaky crust and sugar crystals yeah can't really smell it too much anymore but I just love the crust that note is just so delicious to me and then adding that blueberry it's like sweet it's it's bakery it's delish so I love this one I would love to get more of that and then, of course, like I mentioned, I did my firecracker pop in the wax, and I paired it with my candle. This one is from 2022? Yeah, 2022. This is Notes of Red Cherry, Fresh, Citrus, and Juicy Berry. And it's just a staple. I would get this again more so probably for summer and, like, 4th of July. 
Um, and I love this candle. It's one of like the luminary ones. So like you light it and it just, it looks so pretty. So yeah, love the luminary packaging. Really, really nice. Um, I did empty this one out already. But with these candles as well, I didn't have like any issues. They burned really, really good. Like I didn't have to babysit these candles. They just burned down really well. So that is everything. I got through my empties. That is what I got through for the past two, two and a half weeks or so. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday, rest of your weekend, and I hope you have a great week ahead. Um, but I am going to film a couple more videos. So yeah, you might see me in the same outfit. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much and have a great day and I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.